it's giving cutie patootie hello and welcome back to my channel my name is logan of course if you already know that you already know that today i'm here to talk about longer aesthetic my winter collection line my winter jacket child my reselling business that i started my baby my first love i mean it wouldn't be my first business i ever started but tune in and let me tell you what to do and what not to do from my experience of selling jackets so first of all i just want to introduce this video and say this is sponsored by long aesthetic this has to be one of my favorite jackets that i found from there i don't know how i'm gonna show y'all channel my name is Lonkin of course if you already know that welcome back and if you're brand new welcome to the channel baby so today I'm here to tell you more about my reselling business and how you can start your reselling business and a little tips from things that I've learned from where I tripped a little bit and then got myself back up started off my reselling business I found this page um not the page but I saw on TikTok this girl used to go to this warehouse and buy so many jackets for dirt cheap and then i researched more into it and i realized you know what since we're heading into winter so i started this around may i think i might as well just try and hop onto this bag wagon and is it bag wagon i don't know let me just try to hop onto this trend and try to sell jackets because i thought money in money out first time starting a business this is safe so started off my reselling business according to long aesthetic because i wanted to buy jackets that i would personally wear just as you would see in a video which is my sponsored video by long aesthetic that's where you'll see the two jackets that i decided to keep and i was just wanting people to see how people kind of react to them and stuff like that so the biggest reason i bought more stock no 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 before i get into that i went ahead and i bought stock for i think 1.8 from the store it is in I think it's in three different places. I'll put them on the screen. Um, but we went to the one in Benoni, I think. We went there, we bought these jackets for 1.8. I think I got about like, I'm not too sure how many, but I, I wasn't more than 20. It was less than 20. And each maybe ranged from 70 to the highest amount I spent was 220. So it was mainly trench coats. The idea that I was going for was mainly trench coats and they had to sell because I had to make my money back. I was so nervous because I had never done something like this where I just put in money and I'm just like, you know what, we're gonna see it through my bra. Next thing I went, I went ahead and bought some packaging and child till this day, the packaging is over there because it was too expensive for me to be giving away packaging for, 50, 50, for like 50 rack. That was my first mistake. I bought packaging for so expensive. So then my main idea of marketing was that I was going to do this online, I was going to sell online, I was going to be an online store and that's how people would like interact with my jackets. But from that point on, just a month later, I already started declining in terms of motivation, not just even in terms of sales. I didn't have a sale at all. So I wouldn't have said that that decline in sales, the sales did not start. So then I decided, my boyfriend decided that he's going to hook me up. No, no, no. My boyfriend decided that we're going to go to a market. That's where I saw people selling. And I was like, actually, I'd want to be part of a market and actually see and interact with people, have people try things on because it was much more of a reselling, thrifting type of feel. And people, when they thrift, they want to actually try something on and see how distressed something is and see if how damaged it is or how dirty it might be so yeah um after that my boyfriend and i um no my boyfriend hooked me up hey that's not my boyfriend my boyfriend hey <laughs> decided that you know what let me just hook my girl up and take her to a market where she will have the opportunity to sell so he knew a friend of his that was also in the thrifting business also selling majority jackets and then some other items like shoes bags and stuff like that uh, on the side she also makes um earrings so do check her out hopefully i find her page she personally empowered me like i felt so confident after experiencing it so i'm um, obviously going to add some clips of my first time selling i went there and i felt so confident because i could sell a jacket like a jacket for 180 or 220 for an entire two like an entire 500 grand or up so i think i made basically all my money back i think i made on that day 1.2 or, or 1.1 just from that one day and i was very excited because i'm like i'm basically done like i've basically made my money back i was very excited but then i realized very quickly that 
um, my excitement went down quickly because I had to now focus more on online on my online presence, which was it's still not fair, but also people still again can't buy don't want to buy things online in terms of thrifting. I started my yoga store and did I start my yoga store then? I think I went to another thrifting, another market. After that, I was very confident from the first market that I had went to. So I went to a second market and I was like, okay, girl, you are a salesperson. You know how to sell it. You sold these jackets. I think I sold four jackets in one day and I made that money back. And I was like, girl, you got this. It's in your blood. And clearly it was. It's just the market that I went to really sucked. <laughs> I'm sorry to organize this, but it was really far from people. It wasn't big enough. So I was just, I didn't get a certain crowd. Or if I got a crowd, I think I only sold one jacket that day. Yes. Um, I sold one jacket. And I think the only thing that really the, the market wasn't there people were liking the jackets they were interacting with them trying them on but then they would just leave so it didn't give like people actually had the money to spend for just jackets they had just come to a place because it was like a market in a nursery you know so people were just mainly there for plants and then food and then they were done so my experience i had two markets i sold best in one i sold one in one but markets are quite one tip i'd say go for a market if you're starting a reselling business it is the best way especially with thrifting it is the best way like because every item is different from the previous item that someone else might buy so it is the best way i personally think it's the best way but of course i didn't really consider i just saw that i made money back because um of the amount of money that i had already spent so i was like for the stock that i have i'm getting less stock so i'm having to store less and also it's I'm making my money back so I can't really feel the, the pain of it but the things that I wasn't taking con into consideration was the fact that I had to pay petrol because I didn't pay petrol I didn't pay petrol to go um to go to the markets and come back from the markets to buy the stock and all those things that's an entire oh, that's an entire amount on its own so I didn't necessarily buy it for the other things I was just looking at the fact that can I actually sell which I clearly can <laughs> And then afterwards, I started um, a yoga store and there I got, I think, two or three sales from them, which I would say if you're going to do a yoga store and like, if you're going to go onto yoga store and start reselling your old items or items like thrifting and stuff like that, it really does work for you. It's just that you have to be patient because people will probably like your thing and interact with it. And if it's not necessarily a thing that they need right now, they'll just end up interacting with it and they won't buy until they want to or until somebody else who sees it and wants it immediately buys so two people for me were in Cape Town that bought and I was so excited oh my god I was so excited because besides the fact that I really needed the money at that time also I was able to get rid of the stock because the main thing that I was looking for now was to get rid of the stock and my last jacket that I sold was to my friend Cindy and I, after that I gave two to my mom I took these two because first of all I took these two completely out of stock like I said this is not going to be part of stock. These are jackets for me. So, <laughs> I hope I've hooked you up with a place to buy jackets for cheap, cheap. And also, before I, I move on from this point, Yaga Store is the best store for you. Personally, I've had a great experience from it. I wish it sponsored this, but it did not. I would say um, how to make use of your Yaga Store for your Yaga business is, um, not your Yaga business, but your reselling business, because obviously, I think you can actually sell new products there, but I'm not too sure. How I really do like it is, um, well, the reason I mainly do like it is because you can when the clients when someone is buying from you this is just the best part for me when the client is buying from you they put money into your yaga wallet so the money is there they transfer the money now it's up to you that you give a certain amount of time to make the delivery to send out the delivery which for me is like no one can scam because you don't send the product and then someone won't pay do you know what i mean so once they click i've received it the wallet goes the wallet is accessible to you you can take the money and put it into your account and it reflects i think after two or three days depending on the bank that you're using but i would have to say the thing that i'm nervous about is what if the person that side gets the, the, the receives the um what do you call it receives the product but then doesn't say they you know they've received it but i don't think that's actually a problem because um i guess the people from the cura companies that you decide to use and the nice thing is that you actually have so many options to use like different cura Korea, what did I say? Korea, Korea people. You can use Pip, you can use Korea Guy, you can use I think Aramex, and you can also just hand deliver it or actually have somebody come fetch it from your door. So, um, I tend 
I think for most of mine, I chose Aramex. I chose Pip one time. Well, a client chose Pip one time. I op I opened up all the, the options for them. But a client chose Pip one time, and child, when I say it took a million years, it took a decade. It took a Ibo century. And also, on my part, it was also on my side because I didn't have the time. At that time, I had a job where um, I think I knocked off at six was nine to six so when i got to pip pip was closed so i didn't i couldn't you know whereas aramex is at every checkers that you can pump into so i could even walk to a pick and pay also pick and pays also have aramex so for me i think aramex was the best option for me because or the career guy get the career guy to come pick it up for you but mm. so yeah and then they also take commission but that's not what we mainly hear about. If you want to start a reselling business, especially with jackets, I would say definitely go visit these places that I have probably mentioned on screen. Hopefully. <laughs> Hope you do enjoy it. Um, it's a nice business, especially if you're a starter and you don't really, you know, you want to see your entrepreneurial skills and how you move around it and navigate around it. I think my main downfall was marketing but also at the same time people don't like especially people of color like black people don't want to buy in day for you when i was at an interact when i was in when i was in uh, oh, like business when i was at a market i um really interacted with a lot of different people so when i was interacting with mainly like black people they would come and ask me this is nice has anyone worn it before and i'd be like yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and she'd be like, uh uh. They're gonna laugh, but yeah, I still my crowd this one. These are not to target my kids. So, yeah, um, it's okay. A lot of people did. I would have to say, a bit of very much a market. You have to go, like, these are things I noticed. You have to literally go to, like, Boma Fields Market and stuff like that. That one has a lot of people that interact, like, different people that interact with this stuff. So, I really think like people that do markets have unlocked a different type of vibe, especially when you sell food, my babes, because they don't allow food from outside, so your food is the only food that they have for options. So they didn't tell us until we found out. That's fine. Do you like I was just a sent like <laughs> so that was my reselling business. Um it was fun until it lasted. I have a couple jackets left. I know I want to sell the change code, so you can definitely um Visit it, visit my Yaga store. I'm gonna keep what I have, I think, for the next maybe month, but then I'm definitely gonna give them away um, to like people on the road or something like that because I'm just gonna give them a good wash and then give them away. Yeah, because I feel like I'm satisfied with the experience and I'm satisfied with like the money that I got because I feel like, you know, I learned what I had to learn and I moved on from it. But a reselling business was really fun, reselling specifically jackets. It was fun. Um, now we move on to what we want to explore some more. Being an entrepreneur, I would say, from my experience, is difficult. You have to just stay positive. <laughs> Which to me is weird because positivity with this brain is always a negativity. So, you know, but I think I had a really good support system. Um, my boyfriend. <laughs> I had a good support um, system and actually like people received my product and my branding pretty well. I also was very much there with the branding. You know when you want to do everything at once, I think that's the biggest thing. You have to just stick with what you want to do. If you want to change it, change it at least maybe like a month from when. And also I was just too focused on the branding. The fact that I can change the branding, come on now. Don't focus too much on the branding. Just start anything. My biggest advice, I would say, if you have income, start a business. Start any business you want to start because when you don't have income, you don't have capital to start. So. That's my biggest takeaway. You need an income to start a business. So even if it falls, hopefully it doesn't. It is, yeah. It's already popping. It's popping. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching um, me. It's Mr. Langam Shindu, who's wearing pink. I feel so cute today. I'm wearing pink or whatever. <laughs> but nails are pink or whatever. <laughs> Anywho, thank you so much for watching. Do tune into my next vlog or my video, any of my uploads, and subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification bell just so you know when I post. And remember that my name is not again. Of course, if you already know that, I'll come back. And if you're brand new, do watch my other videos so you keep up to date to who I am.
I probably didn't say a lot, but I killed that. I deserve to be on a picnic by the ocean. Hey, what you thumbnail you now again? Yo, the man be jacket. No, I look cute like this. Can't remember the man be jacket yet. Yeah. And it is within summer now, guys. So maybe I would. I don't know. I don't think I'd sell again. I think I'd go to the store. Hey, but that store is busy. If you want to go to that store, chat is busy. Thank you, Can I get paid? It's not like in summer, that is.